everyone. It is Tess, and today we are doing yet another speed build in The Sims 4. Um, I love this house. It has so much personality, so I think we should just get right into it with our psychoanalysis of our Sims. So, this is in my 1950s base world, right, or like, um, not world, uh, neighborhood in the world of, um, oh my gosh, the desert one. <laughs> Why can I not? The only one that's coming to mind is Delta Valley, but that's not the name of this world. Whatever. It's the, the base game Desert World. Oasis Springs. I got it. Okay. Oasis Springs. It is in Oasis Springs. It is my 1950s, like, um, classic world, okay? With all of my little baby 1950s houses. It's a very certain style, and I've stuck to it. Um... And this house is very much a cottage, which was a very a common color, like a, a common build style of the time. Um, and you might have seen outside, there's like that, that cute little cottage garden. And you might be thinking, oh, it's going to be like a little grandma who lives here, right? Wrong. You were so wrong. This is a Barbie dream house 1950s cottage. And I love it. I love it so much because it is so aggressively pink on the outside and there's just so much going on and I, I really think you're gonna enjoy it because I definitely do so here is our very pink very tiled bathroom which I think this is technically no I, I, I lied this one oh no it is this is where the the garage is technically supposed to be so that does ruin a little bit of the uh, classic 1950s immersion but who cares about immersion this is the sims 4 um but yeah this entire house is so so pink and i like i actually love it so much i put so much time into cluttering it and making it like the perfect mix of like classic cottage um like um mid-century style with just such bright pink of everything and it's so perfect it's exactly what i wanted i actually built this um with my best friend so i had to cut off cut out a lot of parts of us where i would just be talking to her but she was like totally encouraging me to do all of the worst fucking things in this house so if there's anything that you don't like feel free to blame ava that is um i'm inviting you to blame ava because she she encouraged me she encouraged all of the worst decisions of this house um so yeah this is a part that i just uh, forgot to cut most of it out but um oh and we're back sorry <laughs> but yeah so i think you can see now how pink it actually is going to be but i still think it's so cute i still think there are so many parts of it where it's just like wow this um it's definitely a style you know what i mean I feel like if, like, Elle Woods or um, Cher from Clueless, if they were to build, like, uh, buy a historical house and, like, redesign, rebuild the inside, this would be their house. You know what I mean? And I love that for them. And look at the little cherries. Like, this is, it's just cute, okay? You cannot tell me it's not cute because if you do, you're a fucking liar. I don't believe you. I don't believe you, okay? Because the truth of the matter is this house is adorable. And I'm really happy with it. Um, but anyways, we are uh, just about done with the kitchen. I definitely did a good amount of clutter in there because I just, I mean, look at it. It's so cute. Um, so we are going to do, there's this like very tiny little living room area. As you can see, I'm like putting the, the couch in now. Um, it's like off to the side in a very weird way. Um, I'd imagine that if this was the like original house, um, that this would be, like, it would be much more sectioned off, you know what I mean? It wouldn't be nearly this open concept, so it would, you know, it would look a little bit different <laughs> when they, um, you know, when they were building it, but no, this person decided to put plants in their house. I mean, I was just having a great time. Honestly, if I were to be a sim and I could just have whatever I wanted in my house, this is what my house would look like. Honestly, this is not far off from the way that I decided to decorate my room. My room is very heavily decorated. Um, if any of you guys follow me on Instagram or like um, see any of my shorts videos, which you should definitely check those out by the way. They're, they're pretty
pretty fun. I like them a lot. There's some more Sims content. There's FNAF content. Um, I don't know. I've, I've made a good amount of things. So you should probably look at my shorts page. Anyways, um, but you might have seen in my room in some of the backgrounds of those videos. Um, I wish I... <laughs> This is kind of funny. I wish I could do a face cam with these videos. However, I actually don't know the best way of editing my videos if I were to use a face cam. Like, I actually just don't know how I would do it. So, I don't. <laughs> I don't know how I would do it. And I'm, I'm too scared that I would, like, mess up the entire, like, flow of my videos if I were to try to change how I make them um so I'm just gonna wait until I don't know I get like I, I have a reason to change I guess like I would love to have a like a face cam for you guys to see me while I do my voiceovers but for one thing I don't have any good like camera and for another thing I don't know how I would edit it but I digress we are almost at the end of the video if you liked the video like the video um, you can please subscribe. I would super appreciate that. Leave a comment. Do all of the cool YouTube things like ring the bell if you want to see me more. But um, if you want to see me even more than that, you can check out my other, you know, pages on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. I'm all over the place at Tess-ish and I would love to see you there. Goodbye.